Earlier this season, we met a woman who wanted to treat herself to a little nip and tuck after reaching her dramatic weight loss goals. But what she got instead was a botched procedure that left her in a world of pain. This is Angie's story. In my 20s, I was probably always 400 pounds, if not heavier. So I took it into my own hands. It took me about three years, and I've now lost 289 pounds. I finally found a doctor that would do the skin removal under my arms. When they unwrapped my arms, it was the most gruesome thing that I've ever seen in my life. The doctor ended up taking off too much skin. I'm left with severe chronic pain, nerve damage, a lot of scarring. I felt like a new person when I started this whole weight loss, and now I feel like nothing. How are you? I had no idea that it was going to be you. What has your weight done since that last procedure? It's fluctuated a little bit. Difficult case. I'm going to go over those pictures, and then you and I will sit down and talk again. Based on my examination, uh, there is definitely room for significant improvement. We have a surprise for you. Dr. Schmidt has agreed to perform your surgery and waive all of his surgical fees. <laughs> Angie joins us now along with her surgeon, Dr. Matthew Smith. And you are here now post-surgery. I am here. How has life changed for you? Everything has been completely different. Um, I can wash my hair now. My son finally got his first hug after two years, which was amazing. Um, close to pain-free, and for any women that know, washing your hair is a big thing. So I can wash my hair now, and that was a major thing. Wow. And oh. as, as, as so many cases that we do, it started off cosmetic and then it went bad and then it became uh, a combination yes. of cosmetic and functional. So what were you handed when you started this process? What did you find and what did you ultimately do? Well, when we started, we were left with some healed skin grafts, but a lot of the skin grafts had died at the time of the initial surgery, and she was left with a great deal of scar. Mm. She also had some nerve entrapment, especially on her left arm. After doing a lot of physical therapy initially, we decided the time was right to go to the operating room. Well, Doc, I took a look mm. at uh, Angie's arms today when she came on stage and uh, really looks excellent. Excellent. Oh, excellent. Thank you. Thank you. And still relatively fresh. That is going to get better and better. Walk yeah. us through what you were doing here, Dr. Smith. So on the right arm, I felt pre-op that I could get out all the skin graft. And so this is just me lifting up the, her own native skin and removing the skin graft from her arm. Now on the left arm, it was a bit more challenging. The skin graft was uh, fairly large and her nerve was entrapped. So I had to get the nerve free from the undersurface of the skin graft. And sure. Dr. Smith, I'm sure you agree, it's not what we take, it's what we leave behind. We exactly. Make, we want to exactly. make sure that when we're removing large amounts of skin that we, we check, we recheck, make sure that we're removing the, the right amount. And before sure. we say goodbye, Angie, your loving husband Joel's in the audience and what's I it been like for thank, you watching her? I want to thank you guys and especially Dr. Matt Smith. Absolutely. And I mean, it's just... All the way around for our family, this has just been a huge weight that's been lifted. And I'm just happy and proud that I'm able to have my wife back again. Yeah. 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 We are so happy for you, Angie. And nothing that tells you guys. I thank you guys all for everything that you've done. Dr. Smith, you've been wonderful. I thank you for everything. None of this could have been done without you guys. I appreciate it more than you'll ever well, know. We're, we're just you very, very happy for back, you. So. We're very happy for you. Thank you. We'll see what's coming up next.